When I was a kid, I always dreamed of my name being announced in big venues. All I ever wanted to be the best and be a world champion. So much blood, sweat, and tears and hard work I've been put in this, now it's my time. I'm Alexis Rocha, and this is the Rise of a Champion. When I hear everyone mention Boots or Virgil or other people and I'm not included, it motivates me so much more to push myself harder and to go in there and, and just show the world who I am. Because I know that I belong with those guys. I know what I got to do and I know it starts on January 28th. But I'm knocking on the door like you said and my job's to open that door open. I remember writing notes about Alexis and just writing down brute strength. Um, and, and probably for the, the first six or seven uh, pro bouts, his game was to uh, cut the ring off, get these guys against the ropes, and nail them with a big left to the body. And then the fight was over. He's willing to go anywhere. He wants to fight. He's not like a lot of these fighters nowadays that obviously you get the business side and unfortunately that kind of tends to hurt the fans. Lex is willing to fight anybody. He's made it very clear. Um, that just shows me the confidence that, that he has. I mean, I, I've known Lex since he was a little boy and uh, you can just see the man in him now. And uh, he knows what, if he puts in the hard work, it doesn't matter who's on the other side. And I think he really likes the role of being the underdog. I love that. And uh, that just tells me he's gonna work hard, harder than anybody else in the gym or even our opponents and uh, to get us to where we really wanna be. It'll be interesting to see if Alexis um, learned from the setback against Rashidi Ellis, um, uh, and if he's taken the, the experience and I'm sure the confidence that he gained by defeating previously unbeaten Blair Cobbs. Big right hook off was Cobbs. He was nearly caught up in the ropes. The mouthpiece is out, and Rocha is all over it. That is it. What a performance from Alexis Rocha. I think looking back, that's probably the best thing that could have happened. I don't think as a coach we ever want to lose or plan to lose, but I think it regained his focus and his hunger, for sure. After a big 22, obviously we're always looking for better, bigger. I think uh, the only thing that's missing right now is, is the quality names off, you know, the top guys that he needs to fight. Um, outside of that, I think he's got everything else. Uh, we just need to uh, a good dance partner to get him to where he really wants to go. And by that, you know, obviously the top guys. I mean, listen, there's nothing like the big event, right? Uh, to be able to bring Alexis Rocha and his team at Gold, in partnership with Golden Boy here for the first ever uh, boxing match at YouTube Theater and the sports entertainment capital of the world right here in Los Angeles is going to be an event unlike anything else. It will catapult my career to another, another status. I feel that if I go in there and execute the game plan, what I know I can do, it puts me on a pedestal high. You know, now I'm the one calling names. Now I'm the one making shots, you know? Not necessarily like a diva, but it puts me up there where I'm mentioned with household names. What are bigger and better things to you? You're looking at, I'm looking at Keith Thurman. I'm even still waiting to fight Conor Ben in his backyard. I'm ready for whoever. I think with Ronnie, I just thought, okay, you know, he's got, I got this young kid, he's so motivated, and, and things change. I mean, the fighters change, we try not to change too much, but I think I know what we need to do to get Alexis there, and a lot is just learning from some of our mistakes. That's it. Your, your distance, and then explode. I'm always gonna carry that mentality, whether, you know, on the A side, I always feel like I'm the other dog in this sport. And unfortunately with the business side, you know, that prevents a lot of fights happening. But I'm here to fight anyone. I'm here to challenge myself and challenge all the big names. And that's really what it's all about. And I think all this building up, the build up stage, the, the fights he's had have gotten him ready to this, for this fight and looking forward. I, I honestly, I think he's ready for any of those guys, whether it's Spence, whether it's Crawford, it doesn't matter, uh, boot tennis. I mean, I'm, I'm, I put on shutout performances, but I need that knockout and I need to step up that little gear extra. And that's something I've been working on in the gym with my team and with my coaches. So like I said, the rest will follow.
Hope everybody tunes into the zone. You're gonna see the next great star being born that night. I promise you that. We're gonna knock this out.